Hey, what's going on guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces and today I wanted to talk to you about the mining performance of the RX 5700 when you're mining Ethereum using a new Claymore Miner version 15. Now currently on screen we dropped 2 mega hash because I am trying to record while mining at the same time but previously to that we were getting 49.2 mega hash so at stock clocks plug and play update miner update drivers everything you're going to get about 49.2 mega hash from this GPU. Now this is the non-XT version, but if you're interested, Red Panda Mining did do a video on the performance of the 5700 XT. However, these cards, I can already tell, are going to be limited because of the memory. To get started, you're definitely going to need to get the latest driver. So go over to AMD, Google AMD drivers, get whichever card you have, whether it's the XT, the non-XT, the 50th anniversary, 50th anniversary edition hit submit and then download it the latest driver is uh, the 19.9.1 then you're gonna need Claymore which obviously you want to get from trusted sources usually I go to the github or the Bitcoin talk thread it works just fine they have the download link here and then extract the zip folder and go ahead and set up your batch file to mine to whatever pool you like right now we are at stock settings and we're hitting 49.2 mega hash but this card can be underclocked and undervolted to get a equivalent hash rate now the Vega 56 I believe is 52 mega hash around around 52 mega hash at around 70 or 160 watts somewhere in there so this card at least the 5700 in my opinion is like the uh, the bigger brother that can do more with less so to speak Right now, we're averaging anywhere between like 130, 140 watts, depending uh, on the situation. And I'm not able to measure from the wall because my kilowatt meter died. I do have a new one coming in, which I will retest because I do have a Reddit thread that I will be updating in the future. I, uh, I posted it already, but unfortunately, because I don't have a kilowatt meter I can't give you exact comparison but I do have a thread going on here where I will have it updated and I'll have it linked in the description as well what's uncomfortable for me and the reason why these cards and, and why Red Panda Mining also was bumping to an issue just like I saw myself with my reference card I couldn't push past 910 memory or I could but anything past that depending on the game or the algorithm it will crash 925 was absolute peak for the reference card however on this card which is the ASRock Challenger which I did a, a, a general overview uh, not too recently I have linked at the end of this video uh, the build quality is meh and I'll go into more detail in the video I was just talking about but look at the memory if we look at the memory which is marked as HBM memory for some reason in hardware info we're seeing around 98C for GDR6. A little bit uncomfortable for my taste. Um, I have to confirm whether that's within spec. If you know that that's within spec or what the maximum temperature is, definitely hit me up in the comments below. Uh, but that's just very high. And that's at stock memory clocks. That's 875. We're at 875 right now. And I was able to push the memory of this card a little bit further and then underclock and undervolt um, this card to, to get equivalent hash rate and let's go ahead and talk about that real quick so I'm gonna get myself out of the way and I'm gonna load up some of the screenshots that I had while mining now first again here's stock so at stock we were pulling about 150 watts software of course again I will get the uh, the actual wall uh, electricity that it's pulling or, or uh, watts that it's pulling from the wall and we're averaging around without recording 49.7 49.6 let's just say 49.4 49.3 uh, stock and that's at 1750 core uh, 875 memory no adjustments to voltages none of that however when I do the soft power play tables I can bump up the core even higher. Without the soft power play tables or the more power tool, I am unable to get past 1850 core and the memory stuck at 925 or below or 920 or below uh, stock. However, with the more power tool or the soft power play tables, I am able to go beyond that. Now, only the memory here is at 900. 
and the core is at 1900 which isn't going to do much for us when it comes to ethereum and then the voltage or excuse me the wattage that we're pulling look at asic power not the core power any of that asic power we're still around the same 150 watts but we're getting 50 51 mega hash 51.2 it varies from time to time however if I take it one step further and I drop the core down to 1850 and bump the memory up to 940 I am able to get 53.2 mega hash let's say 53.3 and if I take it even further than that by bumping the memory up to 945 which is the max that I could hit 950 or above will instant green screen or crash now again AMD is still optimizing drivers so as drivers different driver revisions come out using the soft power play tables you should be able to get past the memory restrictions on the 5700 non XT variant and possibly the I, I don't have the regular XT and the 50th anniversary but possibly uh, you can stretch those cards out as well now we're we're getting about an average of 145 watts again software not from the wall dropping the core clock down to, back to stock to 1750 and we're averaging about 15.6 53 excuse me 53.6 mega hash the best setting that I can honestly say that I got was dropping the core to the minimum 1325 was the lowest I could go but look at the the voltage 0 0.796 uh, red panda had the same thing red panda mining had the same problem where if you try to set it at 800 or 750 below 800 it wouldn't go past 800 so I started doing 799 it stuck 797 it stuck and then I went all the way down to 795 but it wouldn't go so 796 using the overdrive tool was the minimum that I could get with setting the memory at 945 core clock at 1325 and I was averaging about 52.6 mega hashes uh, the power draw dropped down significantly let's just say 110 again software you got to measure from the wall I will update the reddit post when I can but to be at such a low power draw uh, maybe let's say 115 uh, 120 somewhere in there let's say that's what 40 watts less than the Vega 56 pulling about the same hash rate and I don't know the actual prices off the top of my head but I'm assuming the Vega 56 is might be still more expensive no I think you can get some pretty good deals on it Vega 56 429 eBay yeah 300 bucks so second hand you get some good deals on it uh, but brand new not so much because you can go ahead and pick up an RX 5700 if it's in stock that's the biggest problem is, is it in stock for roughly the same price so the bigger brother it's not only more efficient at hashing Ethereum than uh, the Vega 56, but it takes less power to do it. It's more efficient. So besides the memory being, to me, uncomfortably hot, this card is pretty efficient at mining Claymore. Now again, drivers are still being optimized, so we haven't seen the full benefit. Why is the XT performing like the, the non-XT? It's, it's something to do with memory, right? Because even on the XT, the memory clocks, you can only go past so far, even with the soft power play tables uh, or the more power tool. So the memory is very limited on these cards. But it's going to be up to you to make a decision based on if you're all you're doing is mining with it, you want to make a decision what's best for you. Is it cheaper to get the 5700? and just because you're mining Ethereum rather than the XT or the 50th anniversary or are you going to be doing some gaming and mining Ethereum on the side then maybe you might want the XT because you get better gaming performance as well as similar uh, hash rate so it's going to be up to you to make the call and make the decision I will continue to update my reddit post um, the three tools that I would recommend is going to be the overdrive tool where you could set manual voltages Again, let me show you something real quick. If I try to do anything below 800, like say 750, and it's not going to do it, it's I'm hoping it's not going to crash. See, it just reset it back down, back to to 1.037. So anything below 800, it won't do it. If I hit 800, and hit apply, I know the system will crash. And I'm not going to bother with that. But the overdrive tool is really good. AMD uh, Global Wattman is pretty good. 
because you can manually set up your frequencies, your voltages. Um, the new afterburner, which you have to download, the latest one is 4.6.2 beta 2. You can actually tune the voltage down to whatever uh, setting you want. Uh, let me know if you can get lower than 800. I can't get lower than 800 on MSI Afterburner. The only way I could get lower than 800 is using the overdrive tool. Um, even if I set it here in Global Watt, man, it's not going to take because you can see that dotted line. That's like the minimum that you can set that card at. But it's not bad. So RX 5700, uh, performance-wise, stock 49.2. Uh, the best undervolt setup that you could get, uh, 1325 core, uh, setting the the voltage at 0.800, setting the memory at 945 on my card. Not all cards can do that, so every card is different. But the memory, the max that I could hit is 945. Again, anything above 950 would be instant crash for me. Would get you around 52 uh, hashes with around, let's say, uh, 110 to 115 watts. And again, I will update my Reddit post when I actually have the kilowatt meter to input that information, the actual power that it's drawing from the wallet, because that's the most accurate way to measure the system draw, the card, the power that the card is drawing. So that's all I want to share with you guys. I uh, thanks for stopping by. Definitely check out Red Panda's video on Red Panda's mining video on the 5700 XT and his experience or performance with that card and uh, definitely hit the like button if this information helps you out in any form or fashion definitely helps out the channel I appreciate you stopping by once again like share subscribe comment all that good jazz that helps me out and uh, sorry I'm bummed out man I'm chilling at home hurricane just passed testing out some rigs and testing out some performance I'll catch you guys in the next one